welcome to my channel physica in today's video we will know about the lightning rod or conductor and how it resists the lightning to occur when two clouds are getting rubbed with each other static electricity is generated due to friction one cloud becomes positively charged and another becomes negatively charged the cosmic rays and uv rays also make the clouds charged now these charged clouds discharge into the ground and this causes the lightning now we want to resist the lightning to occur and for that we need a lightning conductor a lightning conductor looks like this it has a long conducting rod starting from top to bottom of a building at the top end it has several pointed conductors connected with the rod and at the bottom there is a conducting plate which is under the ground now we will see how it resists the lightning to occur let's say a positively charged cloud comes over the building this cloud will induce negative charges at the nearest end of the rod and positive charges at the farthest end now since the positively charged plate is under the ground and ground has a surplus of electrons the plate will take electrons from the ground and becomes neutralized let's go to the top end billions of air molecules are there over the pointed rods the negatively charged rods attract the air molecules towards them by electrostatic induction the molecules are then attracted by the rods and come close to them they takes up the negative charges from the rods and then they are attracted by the positively charged cloud they go into the cloud and neutralize it in this way the chance of lightning to occur becomes very less but in spite of that if a little charge still remains in the cloud and causes a lightning then the lightning goes into the ground via the conducting rod and hence no damage occurs to the building and the objects inside it let's see it once again Hope you like the video. So hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe.